Good morning. Right, so what are we doing? Right, so today's task is drink coffee. <sighs> today's task. You can see here, we've got this back panel on. We haven't put this bit on yet because there's no way of getting in and out. Plus, if I buy anything big, I'm not going to get it through the side door. What I would really, really, really like, I'm trying to find someone to make me one, is a big hatch there. So if you know of places, uh, I know of the Motocraft one, that probably is the best one on the market. It's also zaps my budget. So I'm looking for a little bit of a cheaper version for now. Um, maybe look at that later on in the build when I can get the budget back up again. And that's because if you don't have a big hatch or door or something like that, how are you going to get the water tank in? How are you going to get the fridge in? How are you going to get the larger items in? without dismantling everything or breaking things to get them through the door, if that makes sense. So, what I'm going to attempt to do now is we have got this little hole here, as you can see. So we've gone to the other side to make sure we've got the right distance from the trims and things. We did mark up, uh, we'll cut from the inside, but basically the door's going to go from there to there. I'm still undecided even at this point of layouts. I have it set in stone in my head. I watch a YouTube video, see someone else's truck and go, I want to do it that way now. Half of me wants to have the door about a third of the way down here and then have a U-shaped seating at the front and the bed at the back. The downside of that is it gives you very little room for your bathroom and kitchen. And a lot of people that have that layout have the single bathroom, single toilet uh, and that's a bit small for a six foot three 20 stone bloke so what i'm thinking is i'm going to go with it then once i've made a decision i'm done <laughs> is put the door right in the end up to, up against the internal wall have the seating bench at the other side which gives you less seats in total which is a bit of a shame because everybody ends up piling in my truck and sat around having a beer and watching telly or what have you but i can't build everything for everybody but me, if that makes sense. Um, but by doing that, it gives me room to have a wider bathroom. So, which for, you know, my shoulders and everything to, to actually fit in the, the place would be a bit better. So that's the logic behind it. Let's actually do something. So I know it's a lot of waffling, but the reason there's a lot of waffling is I get a lot of questions. So what I like to do is waffle on and it saves me a lot of, have you thought of this? Have you thought of that? Have you thought of this? So if I waffle on, you kind of know where I'm going with it anyway. And what I've found over the years, it cuts down a lot of the repetitive questions. Some of the questions and stuff are absolutely golden and they're really helpful, but some of them are very, very repetitive. imagine what I could do if I had nice tools in a nice workshop. <clears throat> Other thing I need to do at some point today is for the outside of this end wall I'm just going to measure between the trims I'm going to get the aluminium composite and completely board that so it's a nice fresh finish I'll glue that on stick a few rivets about it, it just it just tidies it up for paint, if that makes sense. Um, you can't then see where I've patched and hold and stuff. So then you've got this bit in the middle that's insulation. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to step the wall off in here so I can get all my CCTV cables, TV cables, all my electrical stuff. I can hide the cables coming from the solar all the way down to the batteries. And then put a nice clad. I'm thinking the, um, it's been done to death, but I like it. The uh, pallet wood. But a, bit, a little bit smarter pallet wood, but a pallet wood wall with uh, a TV here, uh, all my cameras on, put films on, seating area here, 
door here, kitchen here, make sure a nice living area. That's my plan. I'll take a final measurement from the top of the trim to the bottom of the trim, put the bottom line on, just put the angles on, we're away. Putting big holes in an expensive thing. So now what I'm doing, I put the whole saw on either angle, it gives room to get the saw in. Someone's going to say, why are you cutting on a spazzy angle? Reason is, this blade would actually, because it's fiberglass wood, insulation wood fiberglass, it'll bang up against the other piece of wood. So what we're having to do is angle it so the blade isn't at full depth. That way we can cut the fiberglass wood and insulation from this side, put a few drill holes round to give us the exact marks of where this line is, and then we'll cut from the outside, give it a good whack, it'll fall out. See the confidence there. <laughs> edges here uh, just when I put a bit of silicon on it's just got a bit more to well it's not silicon but whatever it is it's just got a bit more to bite into it's not really necessary I just I just do
so what the plan is the whole height is about three mil too big so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a couple little packers just in the very bottom silicon all the way around hook the thing in when it's exactly where i want it put a couple of self drillers in just so it can't move or flex or anything like that that's the lot there we go all rubbed down uh don't be tight with this stuff that's all i'll say because it's easier to wipe it off than it is to get some more in So, too old for that kind of jumping. A bit awkward is what you've got. You've got these big latches here, so I've cut these into the frame. Um, so it's hook it in. I've got a little wire there that I need to be careful of for the remote central locking. And uh, yes, the camper's got remote central locking. <laughs> oh yeah. So, hook it in. Ding dang do. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it five minutes. Don't rush this bit because it's still soft, it's just come out of a tube. Let it start to cure ever so slightly, then push it into place, get a couple of screws in, then tidy it up. There's no point trying to get a nice bead just yet while it's a soft. loads sticking out the top that's perfect while we're on these bits a little bit of admin um, all the hoodies t-shirts hats and stuff have been sent out so give it a couple of days if you haven't got them let me know that's patreons only um, what else was the big thank you to the patreons really i mean that's the only reason i do the merch the merch actually cost me money to do there was a couple of you that paid a little bit extra and that's really appreciated because it's just cost me just over 100 quid to send all that out um other bits other bits other bits uh people either emailing on the business email that it's nothing to do with business they've just got a way of contacting me please don't keep that clear for business uh, people trying to add me as a friend on facebook or send me facebook messages please don't uh, i'm trying to get rid of facebook to be honest i'm only on there to admin the uh, facebook group and like page that's about it um, if it was down to me i'd bin facebook off uh, instagram if you want to get hold of me um, but please don't what a lot of people do and it's I get it, I totally get it. Um, they try and like send me funny videos and, and just r randomly chat about nothing, which is, it's, it's nice if you can do that. The problem I've got, without being too mongy, is because I work full time and have a family and everything, this is on top of that, this is my spare time. So if a couple of people are just randomly sending me videos for because they find it funny and they want me to see it and find it funny, which is a nice thought like, but, I don't have time for it all. I don't. I, I can't have ten people that I'm going backwards and forwards with, talking about nothing or or telling them they're asking questions that have already been answered in videos. It sounds really mongy, but it keeps coming up and up and up and up again. And I think as I get new followers or people get a bit too comfortable, they um, they start to infringe on that a little bit. And I don't. I don't want people thinking that I'm arrogant by ignoring them. It's just if I start with it it then opens it up and it just goes on and on and on so that's why if you're sending me friend requests and stuff don't just don't don't bother i'm like I say if if you look on it i've i think on facebook i'm down to like 100 friends or something and it's people that i speak to regularly or uh, they either work with or i know kind of thing um and i'm trying to whittle that down i'm trying to really get rid of a lot of that um yeah i'm miserable like that aren't i 
but now I just I can't keep up with it all because there's I mean the TikTok's bigger than this now that's 36,000 people there's the Instagram the YouTube the Facebook the like page the group that and then there's the groups that aren't mine that I'm on of other stuff so I, just, I can't keep up with it all so please bear with me it's this is something I do in my spare time all right Lucky for me on this, I'm painting the whole thing, so I don't have to be too precious about getting a, a little blob here and a little blob there because I'm going to go around the full thing, put extra sealer on, I'm going to put a rain gutter over the top of it, I'm going to try and, you know, really weatherproof this because I want this to, first of all, well I want to go up to Scotland in it, around the islands uh, on the west coast, some white beaches look amazing. I want to get down to Morocco, get in the desert with it and uh, I would like to go up to the Arctic Circle as well. Um, Ash Pollard's up there and he's, some of the footage that he's getting is phenomenal. This in a snowstorm, ooh, lovely. my steps you're on my steps <laughs> so I've got about another hour of daylight left so what I'm gonna try and do is if you look at this gap here I'm gonna take all the measurements for this the panels just inside we're gonna get that out and uh, I'm gonna try and get that to size I've left my grinder at home like a bloody idiot so I can't cut the um, the mounting brackets to mount it yet but at least I can cut it to size, so then I've just got the brackets to do and attach it. It's one more job off the list. Right, it's a quick one. Um, it got dark because uh, the tie fitter came to do some work on Johnny's tractor, so I straight away went over, tapped him up, see if he could get any of them 14, uh, 14 B, whatever they are, Continentals off the MANs. Um, can't get any that are under 10 years old at the minute. There seems to be a right shortage, so yeah, got talking to him, ran out of daylight, so. We're back now, um, going to get a few little bits and pieces together for a December giveaway on Patreon. Um, gonna, I would like sending a couple of little bits out, um, I'm going to try and get a couple of other bits and just a bit of a, you know, Yuletide kind of check out there and a, a thank you because at the end of the day it's the Patreons that keep me doing these weekly videos rather than just as and when I can be asked. So once again thanks for those that have got this far. Thank you very much. Uh, if you can give us a like, comment and a share to a relevant group, that would be awesome. And I shall see you on the next one when hopefully, now we've got all that together, can get something a little bit more interesting uh, and start fitting the thing out. So yeah, cool. Stay safe.